Hey guys, Strike here, and welcome back to Middle Earth Shadow of War. In the last episode, we did a ton of shit. We went and saw the Witch King's vision. And now, we need to go around and recruit a fuck ton of war chiefs and captains and shit because we are going to by take his Drake fort by the sound of things. This war chief is playing with fire. Wait a minute, Drake bait is just other Drakes? Other dead Drake? Drakes are cannibals? That's not very nice. Okay, shoot bait to attract Drakes. I can definitely do that. Okay, well, we're gonna go up here. Ah, damn it, he's a worm. I just wanted to, like, brand him, but I guess we can find out some information about the war chief we're bringing down. It's Koth, right? So, details. He is, damn it, that doesn't matter, that's just hints. He is uh, vulnerability is he can be grabbed and he has a fear of burning. Well, let's set fire to the poor piece of shit. I won't lose intel, what? Oh, okay, I guess I have to get, uh, uh, like, intel on someone I don't already know. I thought we didn't have intel on the war chief, but that's cool. Well, now we know about that fucker if we ever want to kill him. <laughs> I like how whenever we brand something, they just, they, they take the liberty of changing their clothes. Really appreciate that. Okay, right, we're gonna take out this Drake. So what happens? So... An impressive kill, but it won't keep. I don't understand how that attracts Drakes. Burning a Drake corpse just brings a Drake around? That makes a hell of a lot of sense. Why do we want Drakes around? How is this gonna help anything? Give me a minute, let me go ahead and take a drink. I'm still kind of sick, so my voice isn't up to too much. Mm. So we're probably only gonna make one or two videos today. Wow, it's gonna be two because I've already made one and it's getting really freaking late. Okay, well let's get down here. We're also gonna interrupt the action by grabbing whatever the fuck this is and that definitely won't break immersion. What are you, buddy? I'm gonna shoot that in time. No, I'm not. Oh, it's a branch. Yay. Those roots are literal ones, for our realm is intertwined with the white tree, our greatest symbol and inspiration. Isildur himself gave our people the sapling that would grow into the white tree. And it survived attacks from Sauron, plagues, and multiple transplants as Gondor's borders shifted in war. Today, the White Tree stands in our capital, Minas Tirith, though it will not blossom again until the king returns, as my father once said. Interesting, okay. Well, I was just expecting that to be a regular ass fucking uh, tree branch, but whatever. Apparently, trees mean a fuckload. Symbol of Gondor. I should have known that. It's all over the badges and shit, isn't it? Well, hey, Koth. Apparently, he's just going to show up out of nowhere because a couple of dragons showed up. And why does it look like you've just eaten out the most diseased vagina in history? Jesus Christ, dude. Clean yourself after. Okay, right. We're going to go ahead and we're going to brand every single... Oh, ow. Well, we're not gonna brand him. He doesn't appear to have a body anymore. So that's kind of worrying. What do we do about all the Drakes trying to murder us at the same time? Right, we're gonna get this guy though and hope to fuck a Drake doesn't kill him. Well, we're taking on that. These, the, blah, 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 that guy over here. Okay, right, where's he gone? I hope he's murderifiable by stealth because I've already sort of totally forgot everything it said about him and I didn't look at his strengths, which was probably a stupid idea, but whatever, I'm not exactly the smartest motherfucker in the world, am I? Oh my god, what a jump! And I missed the thing I tried to land on. Oh well, let's go ahead and set the fucker on fire. Good but Set the fucker on fire. S set the fucker on fire! There we go! <laughs> Had to do it the hard way! Oh my god, he's got a fear of burning, doesn't he? But he doesn't take much fucking damage from it. What are you fucking scared of, idiot? Mm. Taking a drink, taking a drink, but it does mean he's dazed, so I can beat the ever-loving shit out of him while we got the chance. Let's go ahead and get an execution. There we go. Don't we need execution kills for a for the bonus objective? Just like you wanted. Now I'll show you what I want. What do you want, sir? A long time for this. We're going to have a grand old time finding out what color your guts are. I would actually really enjoy that. I, I've never known what color. And oh my god, this guy is insanely powerful. And he's immune to execution. What a badass. Okay, so we can do Elven Rage if we want. That was just a mistake, wasn't it? Well, let's go ahead and... No. I want to make you mine, goddammit. That... Ooh, he's going to die, isn't he? He's going to die before I want him to. Okay, please be mine and then get the hell out of here before you explode. Ah, uh, too powerful to recruit? Oh my god. Fine, fine. Get out of here, War Chief. Jesus Christ, that's not what I wanted. I guess I could just tell him to go away. I could shame him. I, I guess it's our only option. Good. I guess. Be shit. Bye. 
Well, there definitely wasn't much point in doing that, was it? This fortress has been weakened, defeating his war chief as disabled savage host. I don't know what any of those things mean, but whatever. Now, I can't move. Why can't I move? That's really weird, but let's go ahead and level ourselves up. What do we want? What do we want? What do we want? We want... Consume? No. I'd... Oh, drain an enemy mid-combat. If I can do that as a dominate, I'd really like that. I guess that's going to be one of the upgrades for it, wouldn't it? Oh, well. Uh, let's go ahead and... Hmm. Draining or dominating fully recovers health. Yes, okay, I'd like that because I've been using that a lot off camera, actually. So, time to bring down this guy because he is definitely... Well, of course, we fucking complete that mission and then we're powerful enough to take on... um to have taken on that captain, but whatever. Oh yeah, he's immune to execution, isn't he? Well, aren't you just a goddamn badass? You take tons of damage, though. You're just, like, really good in every other aspect. Let's go ahead and shoot you in the head. Did I miss? Did I hit you in the goddamn shit? Fine. In the leg. No? Oh, God, this isn't going how I want it to. Shoulder charge, huh? Well, I can't knock him down with that, so that's kind of totally useless, isn't it? Wait, Koth is still around? Does he still count as a war chief? Is he still, like, allowed to be a war chief after being shamed? That's kind of weird. Okay, I was expecting him to have, like, gone down a fuck ton of ranks. Now that we've pinned you, we can go ahead and tear out your arsehole, though. Wow, this guy is tough. Well, we're gonna pin you first and get a nice close-up of your rectum, and then we're gonna go into this. I wonder what I can do with, um... With Wrath, if we can't execute, does that count as an execution? Ground executions don't count as actual executions? Okay, well that's good for me because it means we can murderize this man in a much easier fashion. And oh my god, he just died, didn't he? I wanted that dude, goddammit. <laughs> the Drake's ruined everything. Okay, right, what is this? Is this a better sword than I have right now? Hmm. No, it's not. It's slightly worse. I like how we've actually got a quote on this one as well. Gosh, the warlock. I remember taking you down. You're the vagina man. Okay, drain Uruks for health. Well, I could do that or I could go do something else. So who the hell do we want to drain? I guess I just got to go find some people. Actually, we could go do this camp raid. Let's go do that. We will be right there, guys. And here we go. Okay, where are we starting? We're starting up there. God damn, okay, well I don't remember which follower I asked to murderize people, but actually we need to assign a new bodyguard because my bodyguard sort of turned on me and then I got him back and it was, it was just a big old situation that we don't need to talk about. So, this dude, Pushcrimp, is now going to be my bodyguard. There we go. He looks very happy about it. Look at those beautiful little teeth. Okay, right, who are we making ours now? Who, where did you come from? Of course, I jump off the one place I've ever needed to be in my entire life. Okay then, right, let's go up here, and it's gone. Why has it gone? Oh, because I made it my goddamn bodyguard. I'm so goddamn stupid. Okay, let's start another one. Sorry about that, guys. Well, after that wonderful display of intelligence from me, it is finally time to begin our mission. Right, it's a supply raid this time. Borgu the funny one versus Grisha the smasher. Let's do it. Now, I don't know if we have details on Grisha. We probably do, but I totally forgot to look at him, so that's great. Cross, cross, and cross. What exactly are you crushing? They don't look like they're crushing much, to be honest. on your face, but I'll get rid of that. Not the look. Oh, wow, oh, I see where you get your name, you hilarious motherfucker. I hate you. Okay, well, he's not my bodyguard anymore, so that's all good. I don't remember him being funny, though. I could have sworn his name's changed, because that is the same guy as our last bodyguard. Uh, he just uh, betrayed me once and then showed up again, like, after, because I, I sort of reassigned him to my uh, my army. So I don't, I don't really know how that works. But anyway, it's probably time for us to rush in and start murderizing. Uh, I need to get a headshot then, because I will- Ow, what the hell? How have you seen me? Oh, I can walk around. I'm- I'm flying. Oh, no, I was just walking on the Morgai fly nest. That's wonderful. Okay. Right, please, please, let me get this headshot. Why do I suck suddenly? It's been so long since video games have been happening in my life. Okay. We're gonna brand you so we can get our elf shot back, because apparently I totally suck. And then we're gonna use our elf shot on you. Wait, that doesn't give me elf shot anymore. Life sucks. Life is absolutely fucking terrible. Okay, well, we're going up here. God damn it, I just want to get my special objective. I took too goddamn long, and now I'm falling to my death. I am just the best player at video games of all time. 
Uh, well, let's just go ahead and kill this guy because I can't be bothered to get the special objective. We could get him as many times as we want in other missions. So let's just go ahead and slaughter this man to death because, I mean, death is usually a byproduct product of slaughter. I wanted this guy, you bastard. I'm starting to get the feeling I should probably recruit off camera because I suck at it while I'm commentating. It gained five levels. God damn. And what is this gear? I have no idea, but it doesn't really matter. Let's just go ahead and join another fight. Maybe one that isn't like, uh, that doesn't include my dudes because if it includes my dudes. Oh, wow. Okay. That's a really good one. I've got the kill blesser though. That's such a cool name, but we want the roaring bow. Look at the power it's got. Oh, bye. Hang on. 28% chance that headshot lights enemies on foot. Look at the amount of elf shot it has. There's no way I can refuse. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and step in this bear trap just because I want to see what happens. Nothing happens. Wonderful. Okay, oh, he just steps in it. Well, isn't that wonderful? Time to get the hell out of here. I hope my dude doesn't end up getting himself killed because I can't be bothered to save his life. So we're going to go do one more of these and then I'm going to end the episode whether it goes well or not. And here we go. As you can see, something pretty freaking interesting happened over here. I was riding a couple crowds, you know, minding my business, and now an entire army wants me to explode. So I'm going to go ahead and climb up here, and we're going to start our mission before I actually do explode. And I don't even mean ejaculate this time. That's how serious we are. Let's do this. Unknown captain versus unknown captain. I'm going to brand both of them unless they are absolutely terrible. He doesn't look absolutely terrible. There is no danger nearby. I would have smelled it. I wonder what danger smells like. Let's get down there. Oh my god, two Ologs. Why is an Olog trying to stealth? And maybe the Karagors too. You realize you look pretty goddamn similar. You have the same goddamn, like, you know, everything open to Karagor cages. You got it. Let's go ahead and brutalize one of these dudes so they're half their entire army leaves. Oh, look at that poor adorable guy. He just wants to go home. Oh, there we go. We've opened two Karagor cages. And now it is time to kill absolutely everything. So I don't really know what I'm going to do here because I don't know how much uh, Elven Might or whatever it's called, Elven, Elven Rage, uh, how, how much damage it does. And I really don't want to kill these pricks. I just want to break them. So, God, that sounds terrible. Oh, no. Don't die. Please don't die. There we go. Okay. Make him mine. There we go. Oh, now we've got another Olog on our team. I want every Olog I can possibly get. They're so badass. Even if this one guy was a little bit weak to, like, every attack ever. Good boy. I mean, you sort of just stayed and only your mouth was moving there. I'm not really sure if I want you on my side if you only have use of your mouth. But then again, maybe I'd like that. Ah, oh, what do we got here? Advancing time. No, I want, I want to take the other guy on too. I think the other guy was even better. Oh, he's still here. Okay, good. Ouch. He's a poison Olog? Or is he? Or did he just stun me? I don't really tell- I can't tell the difference, but what a cool slow motion image that was. And he's gonna kill my dude. Okay. Well, at least we know that that guy is way better than my guy. What do I do about the Karagors, I wonder? Absolutely no idea, my friend. And I don't have any intel on him. Okay. Mm. He's also enraged by his rival, which doesn't help, because I think I just turned this rival into me. He's a sneaky bastard. He'd make a top backstabber. What you want to do is to make him bodyguard to a war chief, so you can, well, stab him in the back. Of course, no war chief's going to take on a bodyguard unless he's proved himself, and the place to do that is in the fight pits. How does surviving a few rounds make you trustworthy? No idea, but it's a bloody good laugh. And you'd be a drongo to trust an orc anyway, so it all works out. Go on, have a go. <laughs> he does that all the time. I'm always broken. Okay, infiltrating spies. They use fight pits to ritually select their bodyguards. Commander follower to infiltrate a war chief as a bodyguard. Okay, proving himself in the pits. Armpits fix everything, right? What are we doing here? Who do I want to turn into a... Uh, do I want to turn you into it? I don't really, I, re I don't really want to make you uh, the bodyguard because you're actually weak as shit. So I think we're gonna make. Who, who's my bodyguard? It's not you, is it? The funny one. I think I'm gonna make you infiltrate the war chief's chisel. So there we go. You go ahead and become a spy, and then we'll turn the war chief into ours. But first, obviously, he's got to survive the fight. Until then, we're gonna go ahead and take on this Olog bastard and another one. You had the one about you. 
How many times are you gonna betray me, motherfucker? I just made you a god as well, and I'm pretty sure you're the one with the Olog army, aren't you? Well, this is gonna be fun, isn't it? Let's go ahead and slaughter you. Wow, you got tougher since the last time I took you on. Oh god, okay, well he's a Vault Breaker too now. I guess I made you that powerful, didn't I? And Arnek escaped. Well, I guess we got one of them, didn't we? Oh, why didn't it tell me he was retreating though? I would have chased him the fuck down. We got curse arrows now. Oh god, please don't die. I did not want you to die. I like how we're fighting like on elevated ground and all the orcs are just watching or not giving a fuck. You know, I really shouldn't make you mine after the problems you've caused me, but I might as well. And you make a good bodyguard anyway, or like, you know, whatever the hell you do. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and command you to become a fucking infiltrator, you bitch. There we go. Finally, that's working. Please don't betray me again. New nemesis mission. Who's my nemesis? I didn't think I had a nemesis. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna go ahead and look at that. He's retreating. Who's retreating? Oh, it's a Karagor. Well, fuck off then. I don't care. Um, right. Nemesis mission, nemesis mission, nemesis mission. Interesting. We can take on the main mission, but we're not doing it in this episode because we've been uh, going for quite some time already. Where's the nemesis mission? Is this the nemesis mission? I didn't think it would be, but oh well. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Maybe my captain's involved in it or something. So we're gonna go ahead and fast travel over there. We'll do this one and then we'll end it off. Hope you guys are enjoying so far. I'm loving this. Mm. Okay, so where the hell are we going? We just gotta jump down here. It's literally right here. God, fight pits are everywhere in fucking Mordor, aren't they? Well, let's just roll up over here. Get it? Because I did a dodge roll. I'm um, funny. And against an unknown captain. Well, that kind of sucks, but I have every goddamn faith in my dude, because holy shit, he's powerful. Get ready to die. <laughs> Get ready to die. But this dude does have a go goddamn Karagor, so... That be? Let's end this. Let's start or end this. Or start to end this. Doesn't that sound fun? What? What's going on? Am I not allowed to jump in? Am I allowed to control my dude? What? I don't understand what's happening. This is really weird. I- I'm so confused. Am I just meant to watch and see if he survives or not? This is the weirdest thing that's ever fucking happened. I guess, um, he can't sort of, you know, be looked at- I guess I can't jump in and help because obviously endless orcs are watching and they'd be like, Hey, he betrayed him or whatever, so that kind of makes sense. Well, I guess I'll just commentate, oh, that was badass. Yeah, I like the funny one, he's a goddamn- he's got some cool moves. I don't know if these moves are, like, only usable in, um, in this place, obviously, or in, like, you know, the entire area. Look at him, he's destroying the other dude. The other dude had a goddamn Karagor, but no, our guy slaughtered him backhand. Fuck yeah, just beat him like a the bitch he is. Okay, well, there we go. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought. Got ourselves a cloak and a gem, and now we got ourselves a motherfucking... Badass bodyguard. Right, what we got going on there? Well, not our bodyguard, but a bodyguard of the, uh... Of whatever the hell. Of, of the other guy. Of the war chief. There you go. I'm smart. Okay, so our legendary cloak is starting to suck. But it does increase poison damage and do other shit, so I'm gonna keep it on. It, it, it's just worth it for now. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. The Strike signing off. Goodbye.